Hey, Russ with RWGResearch.com. If you can't tell, that's me standing over there. See? Me? Okay, anyway, burn rate testing. I gotta get these lights fixed. I wanna show you what I did all night. I spent all night doing this. I got it all done. Um, and this is for burn rate testing. So, here we go. This is what I got. This is the setup. If I can get back far enough to view the whole thing. Um, so you got Al Cell here. Thank you, Al. He's over there watching right now. I got some meters here. I did redo another uh, vortex hole here. I basically have just one hole and smaller than the others, and it seems to work a lot better. So I'll show you that. Um, so this this is my old. Uh, I used to have a skateboard, electric skateboard. I, I mentioned this before, and uh, that's the controller for it. It's just a PWM, and it works pretty well. And then I've got a little power supply here. 12 volt for my pump. There's the pump. Nice fittings on it. Worked out good. Um, I'll go around the back here and show you the rest of it. But I got an amp meter up here, voltmeter up here. Um, so on the back side here, I've got a transformer out of a, a UPS. As a matter of fact, one just like that. And it's 12 volt output. It's actually like 14, but it's 12 volt when I'm using it. So it's right at 12 under load. Um, I got a uh, 25 amp uh, rectifier right there. I didn't have the right terminals, so I had to solder to them. I know. I had to do what I had to do. Nice little terminal strip. That is something I took apart one day. So that is the setup. Um, and then on the end of my torch, as you guys remember, I told you I'm, I've got a battery vent cap inside here. This is my flashback arrestor. We are going to see if it works right now, today. Um, so that's that's my torch setup. Uh, it's just a torch head, solid hole, nothing fancy. Um, I think I like the multi-hole better. If I get a new one, I, I might try that. This actually gets kind of hot in this plastic connector here, but it's all I had at the time, so that's what I got. Um, the bubbler here, as you can see, uh, it's full of water. It's kind of interesting. That's, that's the... Oh, well, that's the air inside, inside that tube, and then the water inside this tube. That's what that is. So, they're all over there waiting for me to blow this thing up. So, yeah, and the, the free BTV that was uh, on the side of the road. This thing's still kicking, even in the winter. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this on. You'll hear the pump kick on. Um, and that little fan. And we'll start making some uh, vortex, and then I'll put the PWM up so we actually get some gas. So there you go. I'm gonna set this set this camera down. You can kind of see it on your own. See the vortex. There it is right there. It's forming. Uh, what actually happens is the air bubbles get drawn down to the bottom chamber. So what I want to do is drill a hole in the side of this uh, tube with a little vent and it vent it back up to the top and then it can escape and actually I think it will work real well um, the water is kind of nasty because I've been playing with it but uh, there you can see the it's not really as good as it used to be but there you can see the vortex um, so let's turn on the gas and basically I'm going to get you here first so you can actually see it I'll just turn it all the way up So there's your gas production. Um, we're at what? 11, 11 volts, 21 amps. Uh, and there's your tube full already. I'll go ahead and turn it back off. You can see it drops back down. Um, so yeah, so let's do some burn testing. And uh, I'm probably going to stop this. Oh, here, I'll turn this back on so you see it bubbles. I just turned it back on. Now, it's not bubbling real fast, but those are some giant bubbles coming off that thing. So, it's not too bad. I really don't know the production rate. Um, I'm actually going to let this go and let this vent out and get through this entire tube. It's going to take a couple minutes. And then we'll uh, we'll get back on track and rocking out. See if we can't see if our flashback arrestor works well. Yeah. All right. See you shortly. All right. So, I got everything running here. Still running at uh, 11, 11 volts. 21 amps. 
I have a pin torch, all right, and that's what I'm gonna light my torch with. Um, the heat sink here is pretty cool to the touch. Um, this wire is a little warm. That's coming out of the transformer. This is my light splitter. Maybe it'll eventually come on. I think it feels pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this torch a light, and I am gonna stand all the way back here and face the other way. So, oh yeah, I'm getting a lot of it. Oh, oh, there's your answer. It doesn't work. <laughs> good. Oh wow, that's cool. Perfect. Turn that off. I was going to cover that up, but I didn't. All right, well, there you go. So, two tests just happened. Um, the first one is my flashback arrestor did not work. Uh, the second one is uh, my fail safe did work. This worked exactly as planned. It actually went through my light. Um, but it worked as planned. This worked as planned. Nothing was destroyed here except for possibly my electronics, which I worked all night on. But uh, I'm okay with that. So there's your answer. That particular flashback arrestor doesn't work. So that, that's fantastic that this worked like it was supposed to. Um, I may even drill a hole in this and attach it to something. So I'm actually just very, very slightly shaky but pretty steady to be honest because I figured something may happen um, so that's that's cool I'm okay with that that's fantastic yeah so now we know it does not work um, and that's the plastic one not the ceramic one so that's the other deal there's a little bit of smoke going on in there. Cool. I'm glad to see that now I have results. Um, wow, that smells. It smells burnt down inside there. Alright. So now, I guess, I need to get a towel. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys are over there talking about flashback arresters at work. I really think the ceramic disc will work great and the uh, hose will work good. This looks a little wet. Um, so what I'm going to do is get the air compressor out and blow all this stuff off. We'll, we'll get it going again. So I'm going to uh, turn this back on, see if it kicks back on. Ah, it's running! I took the air hose and blew it off. I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. Let's see if we get a good vortex now because our water is actually a lot higher. Oh uh, yeah, there is the vortex that I saw earlier. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you guys like the car in the background, don't you? I'm making gas. Let me turn it off. Alright, so now we know that this system, this functioned as planned. Good. Uh, through the ceiling. That's okay. And everything's still functional. I was actually going to cover this stuff up and forgot. I got in a hurry. Um, you can see the water droplets where I sprayed everywhere. But uh, I got in a hurry and I didn't cover it up. But I was going to put a cover over this. Um, piece of plastic or something. So now we know. Um, let's see what actually happened here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to set the camera down. It looks like it looks like we breached. It looks like we have a hole. It looks like we blew a hole out of it. Let me get this off here and we'll see. That's what it looks like. Oh man, that's on there.
Alright. So let's see what happened here. Ah, interesting. There's a tiny hole. Let's see if I can hold this camera a little bit better. There's a tiny hole. I'm not going to be able to see it here. There it is. See it? So we had a breach. So it's not to say it didn't work. It's the fact that it's plastic, probably. So there's your answer. Um, Alright, well, this is Russ signing out. Signing off, signing out. Here's your. Uh, here's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Um, the the water, the air. See how it, co it collects down here. So if I had a tube right here, I would come back up and go back into the side of here, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Then all the uh, hydrogen that is oxygen, hydrogen that's accumulated down there, will actually rise back to the top. Now if I shut this off. All the bubbles will go back up. It's kind of cool. See, they all went up to the top. Now when I turn back on, I get a nice vortex again. So, see, it's sucking the bubbles down. It's pretty cool. Turbulence down there. Look at that. That's, that would be your house. That would be equivalent to your house. <laughs> That's not funny, is it? All right, I'm done. This is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Burn rate testing will continue uh, as soon as I get my ceramic discs. No worries. I got EPG coils to wound. Peace and love, guys. Thanks for your support. See ya.